for the banging niggas right here, baby. I know what you guys are thinking. Two videos in one day. This man has done this multiple times. Why does he keep doing two videos? Instead of actually being a good content creator and posting, he needs to stop being a bozo and actually post videos. Maybe then somebody will actually give him views. But you know what this is. This is what if Deku had telekinesis and pyrokinetics. Basically, what if Deku had the abilities of his parents? Okay, for the sake of this, I'm going to give him a telekinesis 10 times stronger than his mother's. No, 150 times stronger than his mother's. So, basically, he can easily pick up semi-trucks. But when he gets his uh, ability, he'll only be able to pick up, you know, small children and maybe a park bench if he wanted to. But his power kinetics... But, no, let's get right into this. So... Uh, Deku was like, Deku one day is going to school, and, um, Bakugo is about to, uh, greet him. He's like, hey, hey, Deku, he's like, hey, Azuku, how was last night? Did you, uh, did you have fun? Yeah, I had fun, Kachan, and by this time, Kachan did not get his core kit, okay? So, uh... Deku's all like, yeah, Kachan, it was fun, you know. My mom said if I get good grades, you'll get me more screen time on my laptop. Do you want to come over? Like, sure. Maybe after the test next week. Like, yeah, okay. And they go in the class. And this guy who had, it was the first person to get his cork in the class. And he went to go punch Deku because Deku had taken a toy that he wanted to play with. Now, he would. Bakugo was not having this. He's like, leave Deku alone. And Deku's like, no, Bakugo. Everybody get away from me. Like, huh? Everybody get away from me. And then fire goes out of his hands and his mouth. He's like, this guy. And he picks him up and he throws him into a wall. And then he's about to burn him, but then he throws his fire out of the door and powers down and passes out. And he's like, Izuku, Izuku, Izuku. And we're like, Bakugo, shut up. And he goes to sleep. And they call Inko. Inko takes him to the doctor the next day. Turns out that he has two quirks, something that was kind of rare, but he got both the quirks of his parents. And that was the quirk of, uh, an advanced quirk of his father, of uh, the ability to breathe out fire, which was fully pyrokinetics or pyothenetics or whatever it's called. Pyrotech, tennis, whatever, and telekinesis. Like, so he has my quirk? Like, well, Miss Inko, his quirk is a lot stronger than yours. It has the potential to be 150 times yours, or tenfold that, or tenfold that. It depends on how much he trains his quirk. Like, well, he loves superheroes, so I bet he won't stop training his quirk. And, you know, she's all like, <laughs> and Deku's like, um, mom, did I hurt that guy? Midori, it's okay. Everyone loses control a bit when they get their first, when they first use their quirk. But you're gonna stay here for a month and train your quirk because you do have two very dangerous quirks, and they need to make sure that you can control your quirk. But turns out it's a bit more than a month. They decide to keep Izuku for four months because he has such a hard time controlling his fire cork when he gets riled up. His telekinesis is very easy. And they have to call in Aizawa to help with this. Aizawa, yes. Now, why am I adding this into the series? Well, it's for a key part of this. 
<laughs> now, everybody thinks that Endeavor is just such a great guy. So, Aizawa asks, can Endeavor train this guy on using his fire ability? He has a way more, he has a lot more control over fire because of his telekinesis. And, you know, his basic... Basically, his mind is stronger because he has telekinesis, so he has higher possibility of actually controlling his quirk. Now, um, so Aizawa says, sure, I'll ask Endeavor. And Endeavor says, sure, Shoto needs someone his age to train with. And he's like, okay, that's weird that you're training your son this early. But anyways, ask Inka. Inka's like... Well, are you taking Midori away from me? Like, no, he has a pretty big house. I guarantee he has a sizable house that you guys can stay in on his property. He is the number two hero, after all. He is, well, at the time, I'm pretty sure Endeavor was number one. I'm going to say he was number one at the time. Well, no, because he had already, all that was already here. So, yeah, he's the number two hero, after all. So they go and Midoriya's out like, Mama, what is this place? Like, this is where we'll be staying. This is our new family. These are your cousins. You're gonna train with Mr. Endeavor. Mr. Todoroki. Like, okay. I'm still gonna call him Endeavor. I'm sorry. I just don't feel like using his name. It just gets on my nerves. Um. So yeah. Um. Uh. He's all like, "Yeah, come here. We start your training today. I found out that you have a pretty strong cork. Like, yeah, I have a pretty strong cork. I have two quirks. Oh, they didn't tell me you had two quirks. They just told me you had." Pyrokinetics. Hmm, pyrokinetics? Yes, but anyways. Yeah. Sit there. Todoroki, come here. Now, this will give Todoroki a much better childhood. And I'm going to tell you why it would give Todoroki a much better childhood. Because... He actually has someone who's going through what he's going through. Her training by Endeavor and Inko doesn't know because Midori is scared to tell her about it because you know he doesn't want his mom to get hurt or whatever. But he lets up on Shoto a little more, and his Endeavor's all like, Listen, you guys are destined to be strong, the number one and two hero. It's not like there's anyone strong enough to beat you guys. And I doubt there ever will be. Now, Taren, Bakugo is now looking for his best friend. He went to his apartment and he's moved. Maybe the school kicked him out for what he did to that student. But Midoriya wrote to Kachan. It was like, Kachan, I have moved and been replaced in another city. And I'm here to train my quirk and become the number one hero. Never forget me. It's okay. And it's like, oh, okay. But we're going to fast forward, like, I'll say 10 months before the entrance and the exact day of the sludge attack and how Kachan, and we're going to say he, Kachan trained to, he started training because he realized that Izuku was going to be strong, like really strong. And possibly surpass him. Now the whole incident with Shoto's mom happens. But Midoriya tries to get in the way. And part of his face gets slashed. But it's his lower. Like the lower part of his face. And let's get on Shoto. And he goes home. And they have to cover up half. Not half his face. But like part of his eye. And some parts uh, on on the side of his face, on like his cheek. Now, she starts crying. Like, I'm so sorry, Izuku. I'm so sorry. 
and yada yada yada. That happens, so now we can time skip. Now it's the dead sludge attack, and things happen with Bakugo. Bakugo defeats the sludge villain, and all my y'all like, okay, that's an awfully hot coffee pot. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. That's I just thought about that. That's an awfully hot coffee pot. <laughs> If you if you if you get what I'm saying, you get what I'm saying. Eminem predicted Shoto's entire life. Anyways, um, all right, yeah, back to what I was saying. So he defeats him. All Might's like, yeah, do you want to be my successor? He's like, sure, I don't care, old man. Uh, if it's gonna help me become the number one hero, I'll do it. Good determination. So it happens, uh, so we time skip again to the point of the day of the entrance exam. Bakugo sees a kid that looks like Midoriya, and he's like, you, what's your, and then Eva t- slaps him on the back of the head like, hey, you shouldn't be talking to him before the entrance exam. It's very highly disrespectful. And he keeps walking. And he's like, Shoto, let's go. Like, yeah, brother. Now, I think it's been since, like, since, like, they were four. So they were pretty much raised together. And sought to as brothers once, you know, Shoto's mom got put into the uh, hospital. Right? And... Yeah, so Shoto's mom got put into the hospital, and those two seen each other's brothers because, um, what's his name? Deku decided to comfort his new cousin, but they become more of brothers. And they see each other as more as brothers than cousins. Even though they're not either of them, they still see each other as brothers. Anyway, so they, like, like, hey, the Intrix, no. And then after that, they run into each other again. He's like, are you Azuka? Like, yeah. Who's asking? Like, it's me, Katsuki Bakuga. And Midoriya's like, Kacha, it's been almost 11 years. I guess. Has been almost that long, hasn't it? Why did you up and disappear on me? Like, I'll tell you later, but first let's get to the exam. And they walk in, and uh, they they uh, walk in, and uh, Buck goes like, "Hey, it's this one." Like, no, I gotta go that way. But thanks though, huh? That says, recommend. He does look like he's different. He's buffer. He's a bit taller than me. Actually, a lot taller than me. He's around 5'10", while I'm only around 5'7", or 5'8". Slight difference that not a lot of people would see, but I see it. And the guy next to him, he's around 5'8", or 5'9". Like, show the... Where do we sign up? Like, I don't know. <laughs> they laugh and they're like, we sign up right here. So, fast forward. The entry exam go pretty much the same, but it's recommendation. So, they don't really have to do anything but take a test, really. So, that's good. Then, um, they get to the point to after the test. And Bakugo catches them about to walk home. And Bakugo's like, guys, you two, Isuku. Where have you been for almost 11 years? Like, I've been living with Shoto and his family. My mother's there right now. You want to come say hello today? Sure. So they go. And, of course, they go. And they're like, we're home. Like, wait a minute. This is the house of Endeavor. Yeah. Hey, we might want to get started on our training. Yeah, my mom and my mom's in the big house in the back, not the little one, not the medium one, the big one in the back. The big one in the back has his own training facility and showers. If you want to wash up and get into a gi, we're gonna train. 
You have mm, 25 minutes to be here before we bum rush you and burn the water. Huh? Nothing. <laughs> and they start training, but they're not using their quirks. When Bakugo comes in, they're not using their quirks. They don't. There doesn't seem to be any burns, but there are two. Bo there are both stabs in their hands. Like we train in martial arts mostly. Yes, we have quirk development, but we mostly train in martial arts because, well, if we were to use our quirks, our quirks would probably destroy this entire building. Well, really, the entire estate. Huh? Yeah, you guys are that strong. Yeah, you can train with us. We do have an extra four months since some things have come up with uh, a new league of villains and all of that. And I'm doing this so we can have Bakugo as strong as possible. And as close to these guys as possible. Because right now he's at a really far range. Like, he needs to catch up, okay? So he really needs this to, like, catch up with him. Because he's, like, really far behind. So, um, <clears throat> so within these four months, they train him to use his quirk for the, to use his quirk and be able to send his explosions a bit farther and propel with his explosions and <clears throat> to have a bit better close combat with those explosions. Then they go to pure martial arts for the last two months. Now, with these four months, they did a lot of stretch training and Bakugo grew an inch and a half making him the second tallest other than Midoriya. Barely taller than Todoroki. I'm in love with height right now, bro. Anyways, let's continue. Um, <clears throat> uh, Like I was saying, they... What was I saying? Like I was saying, they, trained, they did some martial arts and hand-to-hand -hand combat. And Endeavor all of a sudden walks in. And this is actually the first time Kachan has ever seen Endeavor for as long as he came over here. And he's like, you two. Come outside now. Bring your little friend if you want to. Like, uh, alright. Not this again. Usually it's us two versus the whole house with, en with Endeavor holding back. Or watching half the time. They count at us, and we win every time. Since you have three this time, I'll go a little bit harder on you guys. Now, let's go. <gasps> and the, they all charge at them, and Deku's like, I don't want to do this right now. Go to the ground. Now, my force has gotten strong enough to even hold all might back. And speaking of all my all my walks in, and he's like, Gotsky, I was looking for you. And like, huh? Deku lets up, and he endeavors like, I was waiting for that, Izuku. And he ducks, and he's like, Shoro, catch him. He flips him. He's like, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. He sends fire towards Shoro, which he's like, uh huh. And in dev and then all my comes and he's like, I am here. And this stops Endeavor and it allows Midoriya to pick him up and literally slam him back into the ground and continuously do this like four times. Like, I'm tired of doing these stupid exercises. Then he throws him up and he's like, Shoto, now use your fire and ice. Well, I use my fire and telekinesis to keep him there. Ah! And Endeavor basically just makes himself little ice, you know, cocoon, a uh, fire cocoon, I mean, to, you know, keep himself safe. But it's getting really hot, and he kind of burns his hand a little bit. He's like, okay. You guys won for the first time ever. You beat when I, you won when I was in it. If it wasn't for all my... The <sighs> Baikowski, I've been looking for you the past week. Like, yeah, I've been training with Endeavor and these two. It's the first time I've actually seen Endeavor, but they showed me his training regiments, and I decided to do them. You seem to be getting tall. 
You think so, All Might? Oh, guys, this is my mentor, All Might. I am All Might. Yada, yada, yada. Get the introductions out of the way. They was like, I know who you are, All Might. What do you want? Like, nothing, endeavor. But I've come to pick up my student. He does have... So he does have school tomorrow. Like, oh, yeah. Okay. Sure. Bye. Get off my property. And they're like, old friend, don't act like that. They shake hands. And the endeavor goes into his room to clean up and take a shower and get ready for bed. And I think this is a good place to end off the series thank you guys for tuning in like comment share subscribe come back for part two maybe tomorrow or maybe later on tonight really depends on how i'm feeling thanks for tuning in and i'm out ba -da -ba -ba -ba.